All right, so I'm at my uh, son's brand new double wide mobile home and he's had some problems getting his propane furnace going. Um, so I thought this might be helpful to others who are having a similar problem and, the, and I'm just gonna kind of go through the steps we took to diagnose and resolve this issue. All right, so the problem he was experiencing is he could hear the um, draft inducer running and he was getting two sequential flashes on the LED. So that put us in the uh, direction of the pressure switch being open, okay? So I've pulled the, the leads off the pressure switch to duplicate the problem, but when we uh, initially experienced this, again, this is the first time we're trying to fire it up, the uh, pressure switch was obviously all hooked up, okay? So let me uh, put the camera on a tripod and kind of go through the troubleshooting procedure that we went through to uh, diagnose this and then to resolve it. All right, so the first thing we did um, was we wanted to test the resistance across the switch, okay? Because this this uh, draft inducer, this basically the blower, is supposed to create a negative pressure, and uh, these these vacuum tubes essentially, um, once they there's a negative pressure, the switch should actually make contact. This is a safety mechanism, so if your furnace is running or before it even starts, it needs to make sure that it's got a proper draft. Uh, and if it doesn't, then the furnace won't fire, right? So, let's see here. I've got nothing, right? Because I'm testing for resistance across the switch. That would be touching my leads together, touching that, and I've got nothing, okay? All right, so the next thing we did, uh, the next troubleshooting step we did was I, I disconnected the vacuum lines, and this is the one for the, the lower vacuum line, I guess you'd say. I'll show you when I move the camera here. Um, you want to suck gently on that. You want to generate a vacuum or a negative pressure. Not You don't need a whole lot. Uh, I'm not going to get it on camera. You can use your imagination. And then we're going to test for the resistance at the same time. So. Okay, so that activated the switch. When we did this the first time, it did not activate the switch. Okay, so what we determined was, um, because this mobile home was installed in the winter and it's been sitting here with no heat, um, our assumption was this could possibly have moisture in it, condensation, and it was frozen. So what I ended up doing was taking this out to uh, my vehicle and putting it on the defrost for just you know a few minutes brought it back in and it was fine so but that's just a quick way to troubleshoot this um, this vacuum switch okay so something else you can do um, if you're not sure if it's your switch in our case it was basically just a frozen switch you know from the mobile home being delivered in the cold and so forth um, you can also jump these leads together okay so what I would recommend is turn the turn the furnace on listen for the draft inducer um, because if you connect them up before the draft inducer kicks on the control board could think there's a problem because you've got negative pressure it would simulate the switch being closed okay so what you would want to do is actually turn the furnace on connect these up you could use a you could use a nail or something like that put them together after the furnace has been turned on and then check your light to see uh, if it's still flashing um, and it should not be because at that time it would simulate the pressure switch being closed okay now you wouldn't want to run your furnace that way as a matter of fact again I don't think it would start if it was connected up uh, because there's no safety mechanism if this were to fail and you weren't getting proper draft you know your your home could fill with um, volatile fumes and uh, you could die so so there you go I mean in our case it was something simple uh, but you know in an older situation an older mobile home this could this could fail But it's a relatively easy fix for a homeowner. You don't necessarily need to call um, If you're getting that two light flash on your control board, so All right, so I've got it hooked back up and as always I always recommend you pay attention to Which wire goes where which vacuum line goes where? Um, obviously these wires. It's just right now. It's an you know, it's actually should be a closed switch but normally it's an open switch, so that means these are pulled apart, and then the vacuum uh, or the the uh, draft inducer creates a negative pressure or a vacuum, and essentially it closes them. Okay, so it really shouldn't matter, but as a matter of good practice, I always recommend just paying attention to where everything came from and put it back uh, where it belongs, along with this thing here. All right, so you can hear that uh, the burner is now going. 
Uh, you can see I've got a solid red and a solid yellow. And of course, if you look at your handy chart here, solid red is control OK, and solid yellow is uh, that a flame has been sent. So, hopefully this video has been helpful. Let's take a quick look at what my son gets to look out and see every day. He's got a beautiful view. He's 24 years old. We're real proud of him. He's got a nice spot, but unfortunately he's uh, been getting a taste of what it's like to be a homeowner and hopefully we'll be able to help him out with some of these things. If this video helped you out, give me that thumbs up and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And, and as always, I appreciate all the comments and so forth. Uh, if you have questions, leave those below and good luck if you're trying to resolve your issue and have fun. Thanks for watching.